All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the slides. All right, I just need to get, I'm, I'm, I'm on all new screens, everybody. This is the amazing part of all of this is having to do it in new places. All right, um, let me go ahead and pull that up. Ms. Santana, can you, is it loading for you? Can you see the presentation now? I can see it over Zoom. Did you share it with me somewhere? I maybe you haven't. I did earlier, but I think you said your email wasn't working. Um, yes. Um, okay. Can but I can see it? see it on I can see it on Zoom okay. and I'll pull it up in the meantime if you need. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, um, so welcome everybody for showing up. Um, we're going to be covering um, all of the mitigation uh, factors that have been put in place around coronavirus, looking at some of the classroom systems that we have put in place, and uh, maybe more acclimated as to how school is going to be looking um, over at least the next few weeks. Um, although, as we know, uh, potentially the county could move into orange, which could allow us to implement plans for our phase two reopening. But right now, this is just about right now for tomorrow, moving forward in the immediate future of what things will look like. Muy buenas a todas, a todos. Hoy vamos a explicar um, el proceso de um, la repartura de nuestra um, escuelas. Um, hay unos anuncios también como notaron que el condado está um, al nivel um, de naran uh, anaranjado, que quiere decir que um, hay um, unos nuevos anun anuncios de cómo vamos a, a, a abrir y, y, y los sistemas que tenemos en, um, en, en ese proceso para nuestros estudiantes. Now, I'm going to preface it that this is uh, the official first day back. Um, I do not have my mask on right now, but I am in a secluded office space and I'm the only person allowed in this office space for the rest of today. Um, and so knowing that I did remove my mask so that you guys could see me and hear me a little bit better. Uh, but I just wanted to acknowledge that because I am going to be talking about masks and some of the things that we're doing along the way as well. Um, nada más también quiere uh, mencionar el señor de Fletch que um, ahorita sí está, es su primer uh, día oficial para um, las, uh, los estudiantes y ahorita como lo mira es que si no tiene su mascarilla en, o, o su cubreboca no es porque um, no es que no lo te, ocupe tener está en un, en un cuarto a solas y no, no, hay, no hay otra persona ahí en su, en su oficina y um, por, por eso no lo, no lo miras con su mascarilla pero um, que estén advertidos que sí, que sí estamos implementando las mas, el, el uso del cubrebocas Perfect. Thank you Ms. Santana all right, um, so I'm going to start off with, uh, I just want to make sure everybody had access to emails uh, for communication. Of course, you always have Parent Square. You can call the front office. Uh, but for anybody watching this now or watching this later, um, here are the email addresses. And you have uh, both myself, uh, Mr. DeFlitch is the interim principal, both emails for assistant principals, and then emails for all of the uh, grade level counselors. Uh, do note that we have one more additional counselor who serves to help oversee um, our um, pathway experience, uh, but I ran out of space. Uh, so I didn't I didn't want to bog everything down um, as well as her return. So um, just know if you have these emails, you can contact uh, these emails as well. Um, y aquí miran la lista de, de maneras de también um, estar en comunicación con nuestros um, líderes. El, el director, ahí, ahí se mira su um, correo electrónico, el director, el señor de Fletch, su asistente, um, el director, um, el señor Yanes y la señora um, Kay de León. Y también, um, um, también tiene aquí varios counselors que también asisten y ayudan um, con los estudiantes y nomás no mencionó uno que, que no, no, no ocupó en, en, en la presentación, pero también hay otras maneras de comunicarse si algo, tengan algunas hay, um, preguntas o ocupan ayuda de, de a, alguno de, de nuestros líderes. Now, if you have um, younger children, you have probably seen a lot of these wonderful together signs. Um, this really, to me, pulls together everything we believe about our return to campus, is that everything is better, everything is more wonderful when we can be together. And I think all of us over the past 365, 380, man, some of us 390 days have, have really experienced and survived uh, what it is like to really been apart and have to find new ways to come together. And so through all of, uh, you know, the vaccinations and all of the things we've been doing with masks and social distancing, I am really, truly excited and I'm looking forward to a point where not just phase one students, but all of our students um, come back, come, come back on campus and we can be wonderful together. 
Um, el director también está mencionando que si um, tengan uno, algunos chiquillos que ya han, han regresado a las escuelas, a lo mejor han visto el anuncio que miran en, en la presentación que dice Wonderful Together o Wonderful Juntos, Unidos, um, y que durante todo este proceso, durante todo estos, um, um, este tiempo de, de, de inseguridad, este tiempo de, 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 de tiempos difíciles, que es, es algo que nos puede um, unir y se, a dar una, una buena con reconocimiento de que unidos y todo se puede y um, teniendo todos juntos es, es lo mejor que podemos ver en, 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 en este proceso de, de, durante este, tus, estos días. Awesome, thank you. All right, um, so this is gonna be sort of like the, the topics we're gonna cover. We're gonna talk about COVID mitigation on the campus. We'll talk about some transition times and what they'll look like. Uh, we're gonna talk about some of the new traffic patterns that you'll see on campus, uh, as well as some campus maps. Uh, I'm gonna go over our classroom safety and procedures, which we went over with the staff earlier today again. Uh, and then we'll talk about breaks, resources that have been distributed, as well as uniforms and getting back on track. Estas son las etapas de hoy de la presentación. Van a ver que vamos a, a platicar sobre los requisitos de, del COVID-19, um, el horario de um, uh, metiéndose y saliéndose de, de las transiciones de las escuelas, um, los nuevos um, requisitos de, de, de cómo puede uno guiar y um, a moverse en, 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 en las escuelas. Um, también todo que tiene que ver con um, estar seguro, um, lo, el horario, las materias, uniformes y, y todo que tiene que ver con regresar a, a, a enfocar para acabar, um, um, acabar las clases. You're muted, um, I, I, <laughs> I can't wait until we live in a world where I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> um, all right, so the first thing I want to talk over is that this reopening and return to campus for all students really hinges upon transparency uh, and being open. And so first, I just want to like put the symptoms up there for coronavirus again and just state like, listen, if, if you are experiencing symptoms or someone in the home is experiencing symptoms, then what we request is that you notify the front office of those symptoms um, and that uh, your child will stay home and then we'll continue taking classes uh, via Canvas and Zoom uh, until uh, you understand whether or not it is COVID related or not COVID related. Um, and we'll have somebody that will contact you out. But really at this first point, the first major step is that if you know your child wakes up and you know, it, you know, has the fever and their throat is hurting and uh, you know, they have a runny nose, keep them home, okay? Keep them home during that time. That's gonna keep everybody safe and is gonna allow us to continue moving to a, a, a safer environment. Um, and doing that, um, just to be clear, if they stay home and they log into Canvas and Zoom to still take their classes, it's not going to count as a sick day or an absence, right? Because they're still attending school, they're just attending it virtually. Um, but again, that open flow of communication around these symptoms will be very important for, for all kids that are here and all staff members as well. Um, aquí estamos mencionando um, cuando están experimentando o sintiendo síntomas de COVID, que es, es uh, muy importante ser honestos en cómo se están sintiendo antes de, um, de llegar a la escuela. Si es, por alguna razón sienten que tengan alguna de estos síntomas, um, por favor de um, mencionárselo a, 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 a quienes sea para poder uh, mantener que todos estén seguros. Um, también mencionó el, el director que um, si, tom, si deciden um, quedarse en casa y to, todavía um, asisten en casa a so, través de Zoom, todavía no cuenta eso como um, no cuenta eso como un absence o que no llegaron. Todavía cuenta que, que estuvo participando um, en su clase si lo hace a través de Zoom. Let's talk a little bit about the COVID mitigation strategies uh, that again, we went over with staff uh, again today, and that is gonna be central um, to why we feel we are safe to start uh, re the reopening process. Vamos a seguir con um, por qué nos sentimos seguros para re, um, invitar de nuevo a los estudiantes a, um, a las escuelas y nuestro proceso. All right, so I'm going to say that the, the, there are three central things and none of these are different than what we've been saying since the start of 
um, the coronavirus and, and stay at home orders and et cetera, is that we know that if we all wear masks, that if we wash and sanitize our hands frequently and we socially distance, uh, those are enough alone to mitigate a lot of, uh, of what we're seeing for the spread in other areas and other businesses and other organizations and other areas. What we're gonna do is I'm not even gonna talk about all the things above that that we are doing as extra added safeguards across the way. But what we will really focus on with our students is making sure that um, when you are in spaces with other kids, masks are always on, uh, we are washing and sanitizing every time we enter a room. Um, throughout the day, teachers will be reminding kids to wash and sanitize hands throughout the day. And we have added social uh, distance spacing in classrooms. Did I cut out or you? Or did you you're lagging a little bit. I hear you good. You're, you're good now. Okay. The last we heard was, uh, or the last I heard was um, that um, the classrooms are are um, are spaced out and socially distant. Part, yeah, that was the end of it. Yeah, that was good. It must have just took a little bit to get caught up. Okay, good. Um, bueno, seguimos con los, tra los, los tres um, reglas que hemos usado um, del principio de cuando empezó la pandemia de COVID-19. Um, es um, el uso de cobrebocas el um, lavar las manos frecuentemente y mantener la distancia. Um, estas son um, prácticas que vamos a, estamos implementando en, en todos todo, um, lugares de las escuelas. Um, también los maestros es, están um, ahí para recordar a sus estudiantes de, de mantener, su, mantener su distancia, um, lavar sus manos frecuentemente y que usen su cubreboca cuando estén um, um, menos de seis pies um, de distancia con otra persona, pero también uh, mencionó el director que las, um, los escritorios y los asientos de los estudiantes están todos um, con bastante espacio para que tengan um, su, su distancia como um, recree um, la, las guías que nos han dado. And so the one thing I do ask is that um, parents, you know, in this meeting and that are watching this is just please remind your students of those big three. Um, especially over the next couple of weeks, uh, just to remind them about how important it is to keep your mask clean, not to touch the outside of your mask as much, uh, you know, wash your hands when you're leaving and entering a room and that you're staying socially distanced. Listen, we know kids are going to want to hug and high five and chest bump and all of these things. And it, it's going to be hard for them not to. So just the added reminders will, will help for sure. Um, y alguna también también les pedimos a ustedes los padres que por favor puedan recordar a sus estudiantes de mantener estas tres reglas de um, mantener su distancia aunque un, aún uh, nos da nos a lo mejor les da ganas de abrazar o o, o, o conocer a sus amigos um, que tam también recuerden estas estas tres reglas de, de mantener su distancia de lavarse las manos frecuentemente cuando entran y salgan de un salón um, de, de Tratar de no tocar su cubreboca um, lo más que posible y, y, y um, apoyar a sus hijos que recuerden esas tres reglas. All right. And so each um, school site has a dedicated COVID response team. Um, and we've added to and expanded our staff in many ways. We now have a dedicated COVID phone line, which you've seen in communication from the central office. Um, we've repurposed several of the rooms outside and around the gym to be rooms specific to students who might have symptoms related to COVID and until we get uh, potentially a rapid test completed or have talked with parents that um, they will be isolated from other students at that point. Um, and we, we didn't go that far. We also went and added a, a nurse staff for each site and a coordinator who will help um, any type of response that may be needed. Um, for our families and students. Uh, the one I think is interesting and I, I'm really excited about is we've also added COVID safety, uh, what I call is like safety officers or safety patrollers. They're gonna be walking around to making sure that everybody is following the COVID guidelines. Um, and so even myself, if I am following or doing something that would be out of line, um, they're gonna tell me and they're gonna, you know, I won't say call it a citation, but they're gonna make sure that I know what I need to do better to make sure I'm keeping more people safe. Um, and so we've created a whole team at, at each campus site to make sure that we have proper upfront and afterwards response possible as well. 
Um, bueno, aquí me han, han visto las, um, um, hemos creado un, un equipo de personas que por, um, porque estamos re, re, um, abriendo las escuelas de nuevo, que están aquí um, dedicados a, a nuestra um, seguridad de los estudiantes. Aquí miran que um, hemos, um, uh, ten, ahora tenemos una enfermera que, que es especialista del COVID, una coordinador, y mencionó el, el director que um, a, tenemos una patrulla de la seguridad que um, están disponibles para recordarnos Uh, no nomás a los estudiantes, pero también a, a los adultos de mantener su distancia, de, de um, usar es, esas tres, uh, de seguir esas tres reglas que mencionamos hace poco. Um, y están ahí pa, pa, por um, las, la seguridad de todos. Um. Thank you very much. I'm going to try to do my video again, so we'll hope it keeps up. If not, I will, I will, I'll pause it again. Um, all right, so one of the other things um, safety wise that's really important is we do have access to uh, rapid testing on campus. And so uh, this morning, all 100% of the high school staff did complete a rapid response test coming back from spring break. Um, and uh, we will have those available through the COVID nurse uh, for students that do have a release form on file. Uh, we are going to send these out again digitally that you can drop off at the front office. If you came through the uniform distribution line, which was Wednesday and Thursday, uh, you may have seen that consent form as well. Uh, but if you have the consent form, then uh, we are able to provide additional testing to those students. Um, también hemos, um, nosotros hemos, tenemos acceso a pruebas rápidas para el COVID-19 y um, hoy todos los um, empleados um, se tuvieron que tomársela y cuando vinieron por um, por sus uniformes el miércoles y el jueves um, en su paquete también um, recibieron una, un paquete de información para que um, también les puedan dar una prueba a los estudiantes para poder um, um, tomarse las pruebas de COVID-19 um, rápidas que uh, mencionó el director. Uh, I got a question in the chat box and I'll cover that now because it's pertinent. Um, so we do have rapid response tests which only use the front part of the nose. They're not the ones that you have to go all the way back for. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and so those are in case if you're showing symptoms or signs, we have anybody, staff, student that might show a symptom in the middle of the day. We do have tests available in the middle of the day to complete that rapid response um, so that then if needed, we can issue contact tracing. As far as I'm aware, we now have middle school that started today. We've had elementary school. Um, and as, as far as I'm aware, no community spread within the school itself has occurred um, from what I am aware of. And, and we should be super proud of that point forward. Um, but we do have those tests available um, that were asked. Yes. Había una pregunta en el chat sobre que si se van a tomar las pruebas, um, que si se tienen que tomar las pruebas de COVID-19. Y uh, mencionó el director que están tan es disponible por en el caso que tengamos algún um, estudiante o maestro o algún uh, miembro de nuestra escuela que tenga que están enseñando síntomas de COVID para poder darlas um, y si están disponibles para usar. De lo que hemos visto ya que um, ha regresado los, los estudiantes de la escuela primaria y la escuela intermedia que sea que se viene, también se conoce como Merosco. Um, no han tenido ningunas um, casas o, o, o no han tenido ningunas um, um, personas que ha, han, han enseñado estas, estos síntomas, pero nada más lo tenemos disponible para en el caso que lo ocupemos. Uh, great follow up question in the chat box. I'm going to hold off on that because I'm going to go over exactly what that looks like in a moment, step by step for you across the board. Um, and when I did say that staff got tested, that was simple as surveillance test. So that wasn't um, anybody was suspected. It was just to return after spring break and to be on campus. Uh, we wanted to test everybody just to make sure that everybody had a, a negative test result. Y para dar una clarificación, um, esa prueba que dieron a, los, a todos los miembros de, de las escuelas, um, todos los maestros y todos lo, los directores nos, da, nos dimos una, una prueba nomás para um, asegurarnos que al regresar de, de después de la, um, de la temporada que tamo, estábamos en vacaciones, que estemos todos listos y disponibles. Um, so es una... Es, es una prueba más de seguridad para asegurar que nadie lo tenga no es que habíamos que a gente que llegaba con síntomas es, es más como um, una una manera para estar seguro um, y que todos que todos tenían que tomarla 
Awesome. And I, I, I'm keeping track of the questions I'm going to push for because I think some of them are going to be answered in the future slides. If I don't get to them, we'll circle back at the end. Um, hay más preguntas, pero uh, vamos, vamos a, a seguir para, para poder um, a lo mejor dar las respuestas en, en los pro, uh, la próxima present, uh, presentación. All right, so uh, just to cover surveillance testing, if you do fill out the consent form um, for your child, they do get access to free monthly rapid testing. So they can take a test once a month with us um, as a check-in to see um, how they are doing. Uh, but you know that students must have that consent form on file. And if you notice in the pictures, these rapid tests are not the ones um, we were taking uh, oh, like last spring, where you had to go all the way back in. These are just simple on the edge of your nose. I'll be honest, it tickles more than anything. Um, and uh, you just, it, it takes a matter of seconds really once you do get the swab in your hand. Um, I'm very happy that technology has progressed this 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 far. Uh, I'll be honest, the, the original ones were not that comfortable, although I did them all the time. Um, but I'm very happy for our students and families and staff that we are able to offer these more advanced rapid tests uh, that some of the other organizations might not have uh, ability to access yet. Um, aquí está mencionado el, el director que um, el, el van a tener um, acceso a, a estos tipos de, de pruebas de, de COVID-19 um, una vez por mes y se le dice um, rapid testing o, o que en, en 15 minutos se dan cuenta si tienen, um, si es, es negativo o positivo su, um, um, su respuesta. Um, pero este tipo de, de, de prueba es diferente al que han visto a lo mejor antes donde tenían que metérselo todo, um, se lo tienen que meter muy profundo en la nariz, um, pero este no más es en la, las orillas de la nariz y más que nada um, es, se siente como una cosquilla o algo pequeño que um, no es incómodo, um, es, es, una, es algo que estamos muy bendecidos por tenerlo en nuestra organización que al, al, a lo mejor otras um, organizaciones no tienen acceso a, a este tipo de prueba como lo tenemos acá en, um, en nuestra escuela de Wonderful. All right, um, so we do have a, a very formal contact tracing uh, procedure. Uh, we have, luckily through our partnership with TWC, we're able to expand and bring in some experts with contact tracing. Uh, so if it were to happen that um, one of us or a child were happen to have COVID and be on campus, um, or if somebody stays home sick and might potentially have COVID, contact tracing will begin and you would receive notification if your child um, or somebody in your household would have come in contact with that person. Um, and so you'll see that we have added in additional um, forms for kids to fill out when they have to use the restroom because it'll keep a time track on those. Um, and so we are keeping very precise information on students and who they come in contact with. You'll also see in a little bit, we've reduced the amount of students that um, have contact with adults and other students on campus. Um, aquí mencionó el director de uh, la notificación sobre Parent Square que van a recibir um, mensajes y llamadas um, para asegurar que todos estén en comunicación um, o al pendiente de lo que está pasando en nuestras, um, en, con nuestros estudiantes y en, en la escuela. También um, asegúrense que van a ser los primeros de reconocer cuando um, uh, algún mensaje esté um, disponible a ustedes. Um, lo esperan en verlo. Um, um, in Parent Square or llamadas también por teléfono. All right, um, and so one thing I will tell you now is that will be different. Uh, we used to have some students that came in through the middle school gate. We had some students that came in through uh, the main office building that faced uh, Veneto Street, uh, or some that also came in the elementary side. Uh, at this point um, for separation is high school has its own dedicated entrances. Uh, and I'll show that again on the map when we get there. Um, but high school staff and high school students can only use those entrances um, on our side of the campus. Um, and you will see a kind of additional layer separating. I can't even go into the central office admin building. Um, I myself am, am not, re, not res, uh, I am restricted from going onto the elementary campus. Um, so know that we are keeping everyone very um, separated as part of that social distancing and as well as that cohort uh, grouping, uh, which will allow for easier contact tracing um, if the need should occur. And so it's gonna be very important to make sure that if you're dropping or picking off, you're only using uh, the gate which faces 20th Avenue. And I'll show that on a map. 
Um, antes de que um, al ratito va a enseñar una, um, una foto donde podamos entrar um, los estudiantes y también los maestros. Um, están, antes um, los estudiantes podían entrar en cualquier um, puerta, o sea, al lado de la, de, de la escuela entre media, la middle school, camp, um, school um, puerta, o si, quizás el, la puerta donde vengan los chiquillos de la primaria. Pero... Um, Um, de ahora en adelante van a ocupar que entren por el lado de donde, no, que nomás es por um, el, la calle 20 o ahorita ratito van a enseñar una, um, una mapa donde, donde nos pueda enseñar dónde pueden entrar los estudiantes y también los um, maestros y, y, y los que están um, con, con la escuela de la, um, um, que per, le pertenece a sus estudiantes. El director también mencionó que él mismo no puede entrar por la puerta o el, la oficina um, que viene en, en, por la calle de Nero. Él también está um, limitado, restringido de nomás estar en, en, um, en, en algún cuarto o algún su oficina que está al lado de la high school. Estamos todos um, en nuestros um, propios lugares por, por, por la seguridad de todos. Awesome. And I, I was going to say this next. So kudos to uh, the parent that popped this question into the chat because uh, it is the right question. If you need to pick your child up for an early dismissal, um, for instance, they have a uh, doctor's appointment or they have um, any other form of early dismissal, you will go to that main office building and uh, Miss Julie, our front office person, will be able to buzz you and see who you need. Uh, you just might not get full entrance access at that point um, as needed historically. If you are picking them up normally, you'll go to the high school entrance, which faces 20th Avenue. Si por um, alguna razón su estudiante tiene alguna cita o tenga que salir antes de que um, acabe la escuela y ocupa uh, levantar su hijo um, o hija, um, entre, puede, pueden pasar por um, la, la oficina y pueden con, van a ver a la señora Julie que um, a lo mejor le va a um, platicar sobre um, la puerta. A lo mejor no tendrán acceso para pasar para adentro, pero sí podrán comunicar que um, sobre, yo sé que tengan, tienen alguna... Um, Um, algún micrófono donde puedan escuchar, um, platicar para atrás y para adelante y de esa manera pueden uh, levantar su hijo o hija para llevarlos a su cita. Um, pero por la mayoría de los estudiantes que van a nomás recogerlos de las escuelas ya que cabe, um, tendrán que recogerlos um, en el lado de la um, que, que está um, adecuada para los de la, um, del lado de la high school que viene siendo esa calle que mencionamos hace poco que um, vamos a ver el ratito. All right. All right, so uh, this goes back to one of the previous questions or answer to. So these are our entrance safety protocols and know that staff and students follow these same entrance procedures. Uh, we all will complete a questionnaire. Um, so if your child has a phone, they can leave it on during that opening part. They'll scan a QR code and they'll complete a questionnaire survey. Um, and those survey questions, I'll show you in a little bit, uh, are very standard, you know, like, have you traveled out of the country in the past few days? Um, you know, have you experienced any symptoms or does anyone in your household have any symptoms? And that is just a quick reminder of the things we need to be thinking about um, as we're considering, like, do you need to stay home today or um, are you okay to, to come on campus? Um, We deep clean all the buses. Uh, they use UV lighting and sprays in them, which are just uh, amazing additions. Um, also with the temperature checks, every student and staff is temperature checked across the board. I will tell you, I walk to work. And so there's times where I get to work and I'm a little heated from my walk and I can't get in because I'm, I'm a little warm. So I have to like stop and calm down uh, and, and relax and breathe for a little bit to bring my body temperature down. Um, and it, it does happen um, sometimes across there, but uh, know that you cannot get into camp, uh, campus unless you have the appropriate uh, temperature. Uh, there is also hand washing and um, hand sanitizing at every entrance uh, that will happen as you go in. Um, and also just a, an idea of just knowing your body, um, right? Some people have allergies, um, some people do have other medical conditions. And so you kind of have an idea when something is, is different in your body to some degree. 
Uh, the last part with the breakfast, uh, I'm still working out. We might decide tomorrow to have breakfast delivered uh, straight to the room rather than students pick it up. Uh, but know that there isn't going to be a communal space um, for students to eat in right now. Uh, they will eat their food inside of their designated room space. Um, y esto es, um, aquí vamos, vamos yendo a los, los requisitos antes de entrar a las a escuelas que, que, es, que se va a ocupar. Um, vamos empezando con un cuestionario donde ten, tendrán, tendrán que um, contestar unas preguntas de cómo se sienten, um, han, han viajado afuera del país o hay alguien en la casa que quizás no se está sintiendo bien um, y todos estos nomás son para posiblemente considerar si um, está seguro o está um, del, del, um, del, del bien de, de todos que, que pasen por uh, sabiendo que a lo mejor no se siente bien uh, o el estudiante o alguien que conozca. Um, también um, um, los, los autobuses van a estar, um, tienen una, um, um, unas luces que son para um, desinfestar y también um, hay um, ma multitudes de maneras que están um, desinfestando los uh, autobuses. Um, también vamos a tener um, varios lo um, lugares donde puedan lavarse las manos y tener um, um, hand sanitizer disponible um, en cada entrada. Um, y también te van a tomar la tepa, nos toman a todos, no nomás a los estudiantes, pero todos los que pasan um, um, por la entrada nos toman nuestra temperatura. Y mencionó el director que a veces él camina y tiene que caminar bastante para um, entrar um, y a veces um, se le sube la temperatura y tiene que calmarse y um, a tomar un momento antes, antes de tomarse la temperatura de nuevo. Um, son nomás algo que puedan esperar cuando entren. Um, la última um, parte que miran aquí es um, el almuerzo. Están decidiendo el director si van a tener que recoger su almuerzo o que lo vayan a, a mandar a los, a los salones. Um, pero nomás que sepan que no van a tener un lugar donde puedan um, comer juntos. A lo mejor uh, quizás va a ser algo que tengan que hacerlo en su um, salón, en su escritorio. All right. All right. Uh, so try not to pay attention to how crazy the map looks, but I just wanted to show you how much detail went into um, creating the cohorts of the rooms. Um, and so what I want you to know about this is that in accordance with our specific plan, which was approved by the state, uh, we grouped two rooms of roughly 25 to 30 kids together, depending on the space. And I will tell you the cubic foot of how much air people put out in an area has been calculated. Um, so we know exactly how many people can be in those spaces. Also, we've limited to about four adults per every two rooms. Um, and so those will be four adults that are designated to those rooms. Now, as we move to the orange, that will open up the amount of uh, adults that can safely come into a room. But for right now, this is the plan. Um, you will have um, Teachers will have access uh, to, to zooming in with you and to talk with you as well. Um, but know that we're not going to be having the pods interact, right? So if you're in the yellow pod, you can't interact with the orange pod. If you're in the pink pod, you can't interact with the yellow pod. Um, and so these pods will stay together as a cohort while we're in this specific section of the reopening uh, phase. Aquí miramos el plan de cómo están um, en grupos los estudiantes. Miran que están en, en grupos de 25 estudiantes um, a la vez. Por ahorita um, podemos ver cuatro adultos en cada grupo de 25 estudiantes. Um, como estaba explicando hace poco, en, um, a, ya que lleguemos el condado al nivel anaranjado, um, podemos ver poco más adultos en cada grupo de 25, pero nomás con que sepan que el, um, el grupo de anaranjado no puede entre, um, no puede mixtearse con los los estudiantes que están al, en el grupo rosa verde um, tienen que mantenerse en esos grupos para la seguridad de, de todos All right, thank you All right, now here are some specific classroom mitigations um, all the desks and um, seats have been outfitted with sneeze guards um, there has been methodical spacing put in to know the distance from where somebody sits to the where the next person sits. Um, all the rooms are outfitted with the most advanced sanitation products out there. Um, a lot of them just from spraying them in the area are going to do, um, you know, not that we always need it, but we'll, we'll do the trick most of the time. 
Um, all students have PPE uh, available. We've also ordered additional PPE and given those out to the rooms with students. So if a kid loses one, it gets dirty, they can't find it, something happens, we have more available for them. Um, when uh, staff enter specific spaces, there is foot bath available, which washes and cleanses the shoes. And then um, all of the, the lighting fixtures in our ceilings have been changed. And those UVC lights help to mitigate um, any of the, um, like any of the different needs, like those are really cool lights because they will actually mitigate uh, from the way that they work, they will actually help kind of eradicate any bacteria um, or, or disease in the area, as well as an increased um, airflow and filtration system across. And today I will be happy to announce that we were able to, to box and prepare all 230 student resource boxes uh, so they don't need to share materials. So every student's getting a graphing notebook, a line notebook, a sketching pad. Uh, we got pastel crayons, glue sticks. If there's something you can think of, it's in that box for students. And so they will have, um, they will have that available at their seat every day. Um, aquí miran un ejemplo de cómo han arreglado los salones. Han, da, han dado mucho tiempo en um, pensando cómo um, tener uh, y prevenir um, todo lo que han pensado para el, la repartura de las escuelas. Miren aquí los, um, los plexiglases o, o, um, para, para poder um, también tener como otra, otra manera de, de, um, de seguridad. Han también visto que hay much, uh, mucho espacio en, entre cada um, de escritorio. Um, eh, han tenido, han puesto muchos más um, de, uh, maneras para desinfestar um, y también tienen disponible muchas cubrebocas um, o materia para también tener a los estudiantes um, seguro. Um, uh, también tam, han, um, han puesto uh, maneras para, se le dicen como baños para los pies, pero es, es como una manera para tallarse los pies con um, alcohol y tenerlos limpios antes de pasar para dentro para el salón. Um, también han, han renovado todas las luces, um, la sistema del aire también um, está aprobado para, um, um, para tener menos, um, um, es, es otra manera de desinfestar y tener el, el salón mientras um, um, más, más sanitario que posible. Um, hay, también hay um, más, um, han ordenado bastante uh, materia para los estudiantes que incluye lápices, libretas, Um, colores de, um, de pasteles y, 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 y todo lo que puedan pen, pensar para, para que, ocupen, que ocupen sus estudiantes lo han ordenado um, para, que, para que vengan neos listos y um, tengan todo lo que tengan uh, lo que ocupen para empezar um, el día. All right, perfect. I saw the internet was getting choppy there for a little bit, so I turned off my video. All right, so bags and personal items. Um, so again, um, Students can bring a small bag in. We know they're going to have to bring their Chromebook and charger uh, to go between school and home. Um, so a small bag is completely acceptable. Um, just know that we want to keep bags off the floor, uh, keep things more clean that way. So we want to make sure we're hooking them on the back of chairs. Uh, there's no outside food or drink permitted in the classroom. That's again to keep things uh, safe. Uh, but no, every single classroom now has a functioning water cooler. Um, and that water cooler does cool the water, which is a very nice addition coming out and coming back on campus is having access to cold water right in, um, right in each of the classrooms. Um, and then um, just, a, just a reminder of to check your bag. You know, we've been out of school for a little bit. Um, so I just always remind people like some of the things that we carry in our bag might not be suitable for school. Uh, and just to make sure we do a check through the bag to make sure any of those items aren't being, being brought to school unintentionally. Um, también mencionó el, el director que um, es, es, um, van a permitir que los estudiantes traigan alguna um, bolsilla um, pequeño para um, sus um, um, co cosas personales. Um, no más que um, eh, le pedimos que no, lo, que no tengan sus bolsas um, puestas en el piso, que lo cuelgan en su silla um, y que sea la misma bolsa para que, que, venga, que vaya y venga con, con el niño um, para atrás y para adelante a la escuela y a su casa. Um, no estamos permitiendo um, um, comida um, en, en casa o, o bebidas y que um, si vamos a, van a seguir, eso es algo que han, han hecho antes, um, nomás uh, asegurándose de lo que está dentro de la bolsa, que um, está todo adecuado y apropiado para pa, pa que traiga, lo traigan adentro de las escuelas. All 
All right, um, so cell phone usage, um, you know, we spent a lot of time thinking about this in terms of bringing back uh, teenage students, which are different than bringing back uh, our six, seven and eight year olds in elementary. Um, we are going to require that, um, is my screen still sharing? Can you still see it? Okay. Um, so uh, students may keep their cell phone on, um, but we're asking that they are on silent. Uh, so that means that the vibration is turned off, the ringer or ringtone is silenced. Um, and what we're gonna do is during breaks, we are going to allow students to use their cell phone for right now during breaks. Um, part of this is, you know, students have been used to having their phone nearby all day. Um, and I wanna make sure that they slowly sort of come back to that process of not having it around without it feeling kind of too abrasive with a quick uh, switch. Um, so we're gonna allow that and we're gonna keep that going for a little bit during this time and hope it brings some comfort to students, but know that like if students are abusing it or not following guidelines, they may lose that access um, during that time. Um, el uso del teléfono celular, um, estamos pidiendo que lo mantengan en silencio, que no tengan um, ni las llamadas um, en volumen alto o que también esté el, um, el vibration por, um, por apagado. Um, por lo mientras, estamos um, permitiendo que cuando los niños estén en su um, hora de break, um, que sí está permitido que lo usen, pero que reconozcan que es algo que um, queremos a uh, Um, um, poco a poco tratar de usar menos y menos y si estamos mirando que algún estudiante lo esté usando en una manera que es um, inapropiada o está usando del uso de su celular que sí vamos a pedir que, um, que, que guarde su teléfono celular. All right. Um, one of the important things is that we need to limit congestion. And I know students might typically like, I'm going to go sharpen my pencil. So let me get up and just walk over to sharpen my pencil or, hey, teacher, I'm going to head out to try to go to the bathroom. Um, it's very important that uh, we limit the amount of traffic. So one of the things is always raise your hand uh, before you leave your seat. Uh, and that's going to allow the teacher or monitor in the room to be able to determine and make sure like how many people are up and out of their specific six foot section. Um, how many people do we have out and just making sure that we um, keep and limit the foot traffic. Um, si, se, si algún estudiante tenga que levantarse es quizás para ir al baño o ir a, a sacarle punta a su lápiz. Uh, le estamos despidiendo que por favor que um, pide permiso que es que, que sube su, su mano para pedirle permiso antes de, 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 de um, antes de este salir de su silla um, es algo que con tiempo que, que se uh, vayan acostumbrando como ya sabemos que es um, algo nuevo por por lo mientras como no han estado en la escuela pero sí estamos pidiendo que que piden, piden permiso antes de salir de su, um, de su silla All right, um, so some obligations. So I know the obligations is up there, but what we need is some help from you all, okay? Uh, so some of the parent help we need is just the support around messaging with students, whether you're watching this now or um, you know, you're know you watching it recorded later. Again, just reminding students, let's mask up, keep the mask on, wash and hand, hand sanitize frequently and socially distance. If we do those three things, ain't nothing gonna stop us. All right, um, and so that's what I say. I'm gonna harp on those safe threes because they're gonna keep us safety. All right, um, so also make sure that if you have possible exposure for your child, yourself, someone in the family, let the front office know. And again, nothing about that is punitive whatsoever. It's just a matter of so that we can then begin contact tracing and following proper procedure and protocol to make sure everybody else is safe um, and kept safe on campus. If anyone has symptoms in the home, keep that student home for now and let us know. Make sure that, uh, you know, students, that you're answering those screening questions honestly. Um, and then just as always, uh, you know, have talks about the safety protocols. You know, like, are you hand sanitizing often? You know, are you washing your hands for 20 seconds after you, you know, use the restroom and before you're going back in the classroom? Um, so there's, there's a lot here, but we know that this help from each of you as parents is going to be huge for us and for all the students. Y aquí está mencionando el director que mira la, la palabra obligaciones, pero lo que estamos buscando más que nada es la ayuda de ustedes, los padres, de por favor recordarles a sus estudiantes la importancia de tener, mantener estas tres reglas, la mascarilla que lo tengan puesta, um, 
que se laven sus manos frecuentemente y que mantengan su distancia. Um, por alguna razón, si tengan um, algún, pos, um, algún pensamiento que no se siente bien a alguien en su casa, por favor de, de, de decirnos o me, hablarle a la oficina para, para que no, 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 no es para... Um, para hacerlo sentir de alguna manera es para que um, poder proteger a los demás que a lo mejor eh, también es, han estado en, en contacto con el estudiante o con la persona que um, podamos um, estar también expuesta. A, a, um, pero si, um, si también ustedes como padres pueden ayudarnos con eso, es, uh, sería una ayuda mayor para todos um, de recordarles a sus estudiantes la importancia de, de las tres reglas para mantener um, seguros. All right, and so talking a little bit about school transition times. Um, again, uh, our schedule is not changing at this point. Um, we're remaining the same. We are, um, you know, tied to BC in our schedule and sort of how it outlines. So nothing about the day schedule is changing for students on campus or at home. Um, it will remain the same for right now. I'm gonna let Mrs. Santana get caught up with her liquid there. Um, aquí men, uh, está mencionando que el horario de las clases han, siguen igual como antes. Um, tenemos uh, limitaciones con la, el horario del, del um, el colegio de BC. Um, so uh, van, van a ver el horario um, y uh, no va a haber cambios en el horario como mi, miran aquí en la presentación. All right. So room entrance, you'll start to notice, uh, and I was watching even middle school do it right now, of just uh, when you're approaching the classroom or a bathroom, um, it's very important to pause and just see how many people are waiting. Uh, we're not going to be able to walk straight in. Uh, we are going to have to make sure that we line up and, and have that spacing available. And you're going to see campus supervisors, teachers, everybody across campus just um, supporting the, the socially distancing across those. Um, and so you'll see that room entrance might look a little bit different. Aquí como miran en la presentación, um, antes de entrar a algún salón o para usar el baño, uh, fíjense que los estudiantes también estén um, um, al pendiente de cuántos, cuántos están usando o te, tener que esperar afuera de, del cuarto hacia el al baño o el salón, um, que te, te sigue um, mantener su distancia. Antes de pasar para dentro de, del salón, Um, es bueno que, que reconozcan y que piensan, oh, a lo mejor tengo que mantener mi distancia y esperar en línea, um, algo de, um, y también vamos a ver que uh, um, hay nuestros, um, nuestros uh, campus supervisors que están ahí um, para también permitir cu cuántos pueden entrar y salir al baño. Um, I'll get to the question about the schedule in a, in a moment. Um, you will notice uh, new foot traffic patterns across the campus. Um, and what, what I will say about this is you're going to see ropes and signs up saying do not cross, pay attention. Um, some of them will say middle school students only. Uh, so what's important is that if you see these, don't climb over them, don't climb under them. Um, if you have a question where you're like, hey, somebody told me to go there, but there's a rope here, find a campus supervisor, find a teacher and ask them. Um, of what to do, and we'll make sure that all that happens correctly. Um, también esperen, esperen ver, um, um, esperen, uh, esperan ver que hay lugares que están permitidos los estudiantes. Quizás miran un anuncio que dice que no más se permiten estudiantes de la escuela intermedia o la middle school. Um, y si por alguna razón no en, no saben por, por dónde pasar o, o cómo cómo llegar a, la, a donde tengan que llegar. Um, hay maestros y campus supervisors y otros personales ahí para ayudar a sus estudiantes a ver por dónde pasar. Por favor, no, um, no brinquen la, um, la, la cuerda o no vayan a, a cruzar donde digan que no. Si tengan pregunta, pregunta a, a algún adulto en la escuela, por favor. All right, um, and so you can see here on the campus map, uh, every little detail has been thought of. Uh, actually, there is an even more detailed version of this map. Um, this is sort of my own uh, hand uh, scratch pen of just all of the different um, areas. And so I just wanted you to really see how methodical every inch of the campus has been thought out. Um, even if you see the red dotted lines, these are walking spaces of the walking in and out of the room. 
Uh, and so the teachers and everyone else has been trained to focus on uh, helping those flow patterns happen across the board. And you can see that down here, this is our entrance along 20th Ave. Uh, you have the two, we have a new parking space back here. So we got two new parking lots. And then our entrance is right here beside the construction to our new buildings. Aquí van a ver um, um, el ejemplo de todo el pensamiento, todos los requisitos, los detalles que han pensado cada, um, en cada um, espacio de la, en, en la escuela um, secundaria. Um, miran aquí que hay lugares donde está, hay hasta por donde caminar, miran lo, lo, los, um, um, las líneas rojas, es, es una guía de donde pueden pasar y caminar, miran que hay una lugar de construcción que no es accesible a los estudiantes, hasta también um, han pensado y puesto um, um, varios um, lugares para estacionar los, um, los, um, los coches para poder um, que, se, que sepan ustedes que todos los detalles han, es, han estado y pensado para, uh, para su seguridad de sus estudiantes y, y um, si lo han pensado lo han, lo han visto aquí um, en detalle. All right, um, I can go through all of these. There we go. All right, and so the biggest question I can tell you about uh, the map in the area is just ask questions, right? If you don't know where to go and you're not too sure where to go with something, just ask somebody. And if they don't know, they will find somebody to ask as well. Um, and that's the most important thing to remember about the campus map. Um, la más importante cosa de recordarles a sus estudiantes es si no sabe por dónde ganar o, o cómo llegar a un lugar, de preguntarle a alguien, um, a algún del, adulto le puede da, um, dar una respuesta. Si ellos no saben, van a buscar a alguien más que quien sabe cómo, por dónde llegar um, y cómo pueden llegar a los estudiantes a, a, a su um, lugar. Anytime we have breaks and you do go outside, I know some of the students on here were asking about that. Uh, you will get breaks and a chance to go outside. Just again, remember to maintain your spacing uh, throughout any of those points in time. Um, no más de no, que, que, que recordarles a, a los estudiantes que um, si va a haber um, tiempos de, de, de breaks y, y para um, tomar su descanso, um, que no más que mantengan su distancia um, do, durante estos tiempos de um, del, 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 um, los breaks. All right. Um, and for lunch, uh, lunch will be delivered uh, to the classroom. Uh, we do see soon being able to open up and having some outdoor eating once we designate those specific spaces down the road. Uh, but for right now, lunch will be brought to you and you will eat that in this in that same space. Aquí miran que um, si van a man mandar los, las comidas donde, um, en, a los salones um, y está disponible para que comen en los salones o también um, afuera van a ver que también hay lugares donde pueden comer afuera los estudiantes. All right, um, and keep, again, keeping hands clean, super important during any transition, especially to the bathroom. You'll see that uh, hand washing stations have been placed there. We wanna wash for at least 20 seconds. And then um, anytime you use sanitizer, we wanna make sure that we're covering all parts of the fingers. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the tops of your fingers, you're getting between fingers, you're getting both sides of the palm and then up around the wrist as well um, as you're sanitizing and washing. Um. Mantengan las manos limpias um, cuando posible, especialmente cuando vayan al baño, que um, laven sus manos por mínimo de 20 segundos. Y si van a usar um, hand sanitizer, que lo, use, que lo usen de todos los lugares de las manos, en medio de los, de los dedos, um, en, en las puntas de los dedos, atrás de las manos y también um, um, hasta, hasta llegar al, al brazo. All right, and again, materials and resources. Uh, we packed up those boxes today, and so they are at the, the desk waiting students. Uh, again, they have pens, pencils, graphing notebooks, sketch notebooks, uh, rulers, calculators. We put some art supplies in there to help out for students. Uh, PPE kits, green water bottles are there. So there's plenty of things here for students. Most important thing now is not to share supplies. Uh, if you're missing something, another student has it, ask the teacher and we'll find a way to get you one that another student hasn't used already. 
Um, como mencionó hace poco el director, que hemos ordenado bastantes lápices, plumas, um, papeles, libretas, calculadoras, man, um, um, materia de PPE, hasta, hasta botellas de agua. Nomás le estamos pidiendo que por favor no lo compartan con los otros estudiantes. Es um, sus, sus um, materia que, que debería que hacerse personalmente y, y no compartir con otros. All right, and so what to bring and what not to bring. Um, again, you got your bag for school, which can be a backpack. Make sure you have your Chromebook and your charger. Uh, I would also encourage everybody to bring headphones. We do have headphones on order, but as you saw that ship stuck in the Suez Canal, uh, it's highly likely that our headphones could be stuck there as well. Um, so I encourage you to bring headphones. Uh, don't forget to bring your BC textbooks that you might need, as well as any personal PPE. So if you want to bring your own mask, if you want to bring additional hand sanitizer, like I said, I have one clipped here to my badge, um, you can bring all of those as well. And what not to bring is pretty much anything not on that list. Aquí menciona que pueden traer y que no pueden traer. Y lo que sí mencionan que sí pueden traer está aquí escrito en la lista que alguna bolsilla chiquillo o pequeño para la escuela nomás. Su computadora con el cargador. Los audífonos. Han mencionado que si tienen audífonos de traerlos, tienen más en orden, pero quizás no van a estar disponibles el primer día al regreso. Cualquier libro de BC y su mascarilla o PPE personal que tengan también, pero por favor de no traer alguna otra materia. All right, in uniforms, um, I know many of you went and sat in lines to get uniforms. And um, again, there were some shipping issues with the uniforms. Uh, I don't think that one's attached to the Suez Canal, um, but we have them on order and they should be arriving shortly this week. And so um, as we get those in, we are gonna distribute those to students um, that will get their polos and t-shirts uh, as well for uniforms. Uh, just some of the basic reminders is one, if um, wear a pair of khakis that fit as much as possible, uh, no open-toed shoes, uh, not wearing red or blue. If you have a wonderful shirt that fits for tomorrow, please wear that. If you don't, wear some type of plain shirt that isn't blue or red, a gray shirt, a white shirt, a, a black shirt, any of those would work as well. And so just, uh, again, keeping those things in mind for tomorrow. Uh, mencionó el director que uh, los no todos los uniformes llegó a llegaron a tiempo y por lo mientras que por favor vengan um, en algunos pantalones de khaki um, que le quedan, um, nomás de no ponerse blusas de azul o rojo, que por favor usen algún um, color. Si tengan, si tengan algún uniforme o camiseta de la escuela, que se pongan esa y si por alguna razón no tienen um, y pueden usar alguna um, blusa o o camiseta que no tenga muchos colores, um, sea gris o blanco, um, que, que tampoco no tenga uh, mucho. Um, y uh, zapatos que, que, que cubren los pies, por favor, y, y las puntas de, de, de los dedos de los pies. Oh, OK. Um... Can, can you hear me now? I just want to make sure um, one of the parents put in there about not being able to hear. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Brenton. Okay, good. Um, and just some parents saying they couldn't hear us. So we'll just, we'll keep track of that. Um, so yeah, if you have a wonderful shirt that fits, please wear it. If not, please wear just a plain shirt as much as possible that isn't blue or red. Alguna persona que, que no, quizás no escucho uh, mencionó el director que um, alguna blusa que no sea azul o rojo, por favor. All right, and just getting back on track, again, we're going to function two formats, right? So we have Learning Center Support. You're going to have um, educated uh, tutors and interventionists in the room with you, helping out in all areas of subjects. Um, as time's available, they're going to offer additional tutoring to students during breaks, etc. And then um, as we move forward into the orange, uh, we are going to be able to provide more teachers coming into the classroom to provide additional support for our students during this phase. Um, a regresar a las escuelas van a ver que tenemos um, adultos que están listos para ayudar a sus estudiantes lo mejor que puedan. Y en, en mientras de que estemos el condado al nivel de anaranjado, va a haber también más adultos que puedan estar disponibles para entrar a los salones y también asistir a ayudar a los estudiantes um, como puedan.
All right. And then uh, just a conclusion, just a reminder, you all are going to be vital in this for all students, not just your child, but every single child that is on campus. Um, so one, again, just tell us about symptoms or exposure as soon as possible. Keep students at home if they have symptoms. Um, for both parents and students, if you happen to be on or near campus, just follow any of the directions. Uh, and, and what I've been telling staff and myself, and I will tell students, is everybody just take a breather and have some patience. Um, especially with um, our older students with the complexity of our schedule, things are going to take a, a, just a tad longer um, to work through in comparison to some of the other lower grades. So just take a breather as you're, you know, you're following the big three will be good. Aquí mencionamos que um, junto con ustedes ocupamos la vida de ustedes, no nomás con sus estudiantes, pero todos los estudiantes que, que, que están, están en contacto con nuestra escuela, um, que si sienten o oigan algo, um, que si no se sienten bien, están, ten, tienen síntomas, que de, por favor comunicarlo um, cuanto antes o lo más pronto posible. Um, por favor, manténganse en casa si se, no se han sentido bien. Um, y siga cualquier um, dirección que miran en, en, en las escuelas y por favor de tener paciencia. Todos vamos a, a, a pasar por lo mismo y va a tardarse un tantito para ajustarse al horario um, y nomás que les pide a todos que, que respire profundo y que tengan sus paciencias que todo um, va a salir bien. All right, I'm going to put this information up again. Um, so that is all the information I have to present, but I know you're going to have some questions and I'll do my best to, to hang around and, and answer as many as I can, but just, just know that we're going to be working through a lot of things as we move forward. And to help us answer questions, I am going to stop the recording. Okay, vamos a tomar una pausa y vamos a parar de um, grabar um, para tomar las preguntas que tengan ustedes y vamos a tratar de dar, um, contestarlas lo mejor que podamos. All right, so this time, if you don't have any questions, um, did I, there we go. Uh, 